we think commandment is bad or law is bad. No, it's not. And us thinking those things are bad has led to a whole section of people who don't understand anything about eschatology. And they're now off in the ditch about what the resurrection is because they think what ailed man was the law. The law was never man's problem. That's a hard saying for people. That's a hard saying for people. Guess what? Paul said that death was entered the world by one man, Adam, and that death reigned from Adam to Moses. Do you know what he's saying there? The law hadn't been given yet, and death was still reigning. The law being the ministration of death isn't that we didn't have death, and the law gave us death. It's that the law revealed the death that was reigning over us, and it revealed that a lamb would come to deliver us from the death. The law isn't that which gave death. Death was already reigning. People were dying from Adam to Moses before the law even came. Paul said it this way. I've just been bashing the law in you guys' eyes, so let me pose this question then. In light of everything I just said about how we're not under the works of the law, what shall we say then? Is the law sin? Certainly not. Let it never be said is what that means. So the law is not sin. The law is not that which gives us death. The law didn't bring forth sin in Jesus. The law isn't what killed Jesus. It doesn't say the wages of the law is death. It says the wages of sin is death. Now what happens is if we think the law is the enemy of man, then we're going to define our eschatology and our beliefs about the last days and the end times and the end of the age. We're going to define it all by the law. That's right. Because we're going to think that the law was the problem. So when the law passed away, that's when that's the end of the age and the last days. and That's all the stuff. Therefore, there is no resurrection. Blah, 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 blah. Let me throw up on myself. That's like a dog returning to its vomit mm -hmm. is what it is, right? And so the restitution of all things, it says that the holy prophets have been prophesying since the world began. Yes. That wor term world began means since the fall of the world. When did the world fall? When Adam ate from the tree, he didn't plant the law into the earth. He planted the wisdom of the serpent and death into the earth. And from that moment, God began prophesying of the restitution of all things. The law hadn't even been given yet. So now we're going to define the passing away of the law as the restitution of all things? No. What's the restitution of all things? The death and the sin that entered the world by one man, Adam, is no longer there. So the end of the age is the end of the age where there was sin and death in the world. The last days are the last days leading up to the time where there's no more sin and death in the earth. The restitution of all things is that before Adam ate from the tree, there was no sin and death in the earth. And so the restitution of that thing would be for us to be in an earth where there's no sin and no death. Right? Yes, sir. 